Our TVs are becoming boring. While the costs of smart TVs have been going down in the past months, a lot of us Filipinos still prefer keeping what we have and look for more affordable alternatives. Android TV boxes and streaming players have become the staple solutions to this, and this is why a lot of telcos have been offering it to their consumers and subscribers. PLDT has been a huge proponent to this. From the first to last year's Chivolution offering, it is evident that the company has been investing so much on bringing rich media experience to more Filipinos. Just recently, PLDT announced their partnership with Roku so they can bring the well-loved streaming box to Filipinos. I linked up our article on our website for more description. Finally, this June, PLDT will officially make Roku available to the Philippines as their latest devolution offering. This is definitely a great timing for Filipinos to watch videos that are normally available in the US. One of the best things about PLDT's version of Roku is that it already includes in it a year of iFlix subscription, one month free basic signal TV pack, and one month free Netflix. Fox and i1 TV are coming too according to PLDT as it's also being offered to their home and mobile subscribers. The option whether or not you wish to continue your separate subscription of Signal and iFlix is definitely up to you. What I like most in this is the availability of Signal TV channels in the box. With a free one-month subscription, I will not miss the NBA Finals and the latest episode of Ang Probinsyano. Kiddingly aside, it's definitely one good way of enriching my TV experience using my internet at home. The box is fairly very easy to install. Put everything out of the box, hook it up on your TV via provided HDMI cable, put the adapter on a 220V socket, and turn on the TV and the box with the included remote control. Part of the collaboration between PLDT and Roku are the pre-embedded Signal, iFlix, Netflix, and YouTube channels on the remote control for smooth and easy operation. I use a 50 Mbps PLDT home fiber, so buffering to full HD of contents is totally a breeze. I tried hooking this up on my other 15 Mbps PLDT home DSL connection and work far better at SD to 720p contents, with minimal experience of loading and buffering times. PLDT, during my meeting with them, said that the Roku devices they're offering via Tvolution are optimized to stream contents even if the end user only has 3 Mbps connection. I'm giving it a grain of salt though, as full HD contents obviously takes a lot of bandwidth. What do you guys think about the official availability of Roku to the Philippines via PLDT? Give us your thoughts via the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed to our page, this is the best time to do so. This has been GN of Gadget Pilipinas. See you soon on our next video.